आउज़बिल्लिमशैतरजीम बसमीम लास्ट टाइम वी कम्प्लीट दिस सो नाउ स्टार्ट अल वाहदतानिया सेकेंड यूनट अलसरामीन दी फैमिली अलसरामीन दी फैमिली अल वाहदतानिया मीन सेकेंड यूनट so in this second unit of the book all chapters will be related to this topic which is family al wahdatu saniya second unit al usra di family ad dars ul ashir 10th lesson al ard presentation al hiwar ul awwal first dialogue unzur wasta me wa aid look and listen and repeat ali says assalamu alaikum peace be upon you assalam mean peace alaikum upon you assalamu alaikum peace be upon you ammar replies wa alaikum assalam and peace be upon you too ali hazihi suratu usrati this is the picture of my family ammar replies ma sha allah ma mean what sha wills allah allah what allah wills basically we use this phrase to protect someone from evil eye muslims believe in the concept of evil eye so muslims use this phrase to protect someone from evil eye man haza who is this man mean who and haza mean this man haza who is this ali replies haza walidi adnan wa huwa muhandis haza this walid father ya mai adnan wa and who wa he is mohandis engineer this is my father adnan and he is an engineer ammar wa man hazihi and who is this ali hazihi walidati saida wa hiya tabiba this is my mother saida and she is a doctor amma wa man haza and who is this ali haza akhi isa wa huwa talib this is my brother isa and he is a student wa man hazihi and who is this ali هذه اختي ابله وهي معلمه this is my sister abla and she is a teacher وهذا جدي and this is my grandfather وهذه جدتي and this is my grandmother ammar ma sha allah what allah wills mufradad vocabulary so here you will write the meanings of these words i have told you the meaning of all these words on the previous page so you will write them and you will upload them to google classroom as your homework tadrib sil bain al kalimati wa surat al munasiba is asking you to join the word and appropriate picture so here you will join them and then you will upload it to google classroom as your homework الوحده الثانيه سكن يونت الاسره دي فاميلي الدرس الحادي عشر 11th lesson الحوار الثاني سكن ديالوج انظر وسط ما وايد لوك اند ليسن اند ريبيت عمر هل هذه شجره از ذس فاميلي تري ذا ورد شجره مين تري بت هير ات از يوز از فاميلي تري از ذس فاميلي تري 
عثمان نام یس حاض ہی اسرا تر رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یس دس از فیملی آف میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وین ایور وی ہیئر دا نیم آف پرافٹ پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اٹ از نیسیسری فار اس ٹو سی دس فریز صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈیٹس وائی وین عمر ہیئرڈ اور ہیئرڈ دا نیم آف پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہی سیڈ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم عثمان حاضا والد ہو عبد اللہ ہو مین ہز ہو مین ہز دس از ہز فادر عبد اللہ عمر و حاض ہی والد تو ہو آمینہ اینڈ دس از ہز مادر آمینہ عثمان و حاضا جد ہو عبد المطلب اینڈ دس از ہز گرینڈ فادر عبد المطلب عمر و حاضا ام العباس اینڈ دس از ہز انکل عباس عثمان و حاضا ام حمزہ اینڈ دس از ہز انکل حمزہ عمر و حاضا ام ابو طالب اینڈ دس از ہز انکل ابو طالب عثمان و حاض ہی امت ہو صفیہ اینڈ دس از ہز انٹی صفیہ عمر و حاضب نوح القاسم اینڈ دس از ہز سن قاسم عثمان و حاضب نوح عبد اللہ اینڈ دس از ہز سن عبد اللہ و حاضب نوح ابراہیم اینڈ دس از ہز سن ابراہیم وحاز ہبن تو فاطمہ اینڈ دس از ہز ڈاٹر فاطمہ وحاز ہی ابن تو رقیہ اینڈ دس از ہز ڈاٹر رقیہ وحاز ہبن تو زینب اینڈ دس از ہز ڈاٹر زینب وحاز ہبن تو ام کلسوم And this is his daughter, Umm Kulsum. Al-Mufradad vocabulary. So here you will write the meanings of these words. Adnan is a name, but all others you need to write their meanings and you will upload it as your homework. Tadrib sil bain al-kalimati wa surat al-munasibah. Join the word with appropriate picture. So here you will join them and you will upload it to Google Classroom as your homework. Next we have Al- Al-Wahdatu Saniya Second Unit Al-Usra The Family Al-Dasu Saniya Shara Twelfth Lesson Al-Hewaru Salis Third Dialogue Unzur Vastame Waid Look and Listen and Repeat Al-Um The Mother حاضا اذان الفجر حاضا دس اذان اذان فجر فجر دس از دا اذان آف فجر الب دی فادر اللہ اکبر اللہ از گریٹسٹ اللہ اکبر اللہ از گریٹسٹ آئین الاولاد آئین ویر الاولاد دا چلڈرن ویر آر دا چلڈرن الام ساد فی الحمام یتودعو Saad is in the bathroom. He is making wudu. Al-Ab, the father. Wa aina Saeed. And where is Saeed? Al-Um. Saeed fil ghurfati yakra ul Quran. Saeed is in the room. He is reading the Quran. Wa aina Saeedah. And where is Saeedah? Saida fil musalla to salli. Saida is in the musalla. She is praying. Musalla is basically the place or mat on which we pray salah. Ain al metaf. Where is the court? Metaf mean court. Haza hu al metaf. Here it is the court. Ya walidi. O my father. 
وَأَيْ نَنْ نَزَّارَ And where are the glasses? هَذِهِ هِي يَنَّزَّارَ Here are the glasses. يَا وَالِدِي O my father. هَيَّا بِنَا إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ Let's go to the masjid. سَعَدْ وَسَعِيدْ هَيَّا بِنَا Let's go. So here you will write the meanings of these words. And then you will upload it to Google Classroom as your homework. Tadreeb exercise. Join the word with, with the appropriate picture. So you will join them. And then you will upload it to Google Classroom. Tadreebul awwal. Istame summa da ala matas sahiya fil murabba al munasib. Listen then put the check mark in the appropriate box so you will find this audio in the google classroom okay one more thing in the google classroom you will find uh, you need to submit the homework in homework number four and for this question the audio you will find the audio in homework number five let me confirm it as well so that Yes, I will upload the audio in homework number 5. So whatever is written here, ignore it. So you need to submit your homework in homework number 4 and homework number 5. So upload some of the homework in homework number 4 and upload the rest of your homework in homework number 5 because the audio or video of these recordings, you will find them in homework number five so here you will listen to the audio in the audio you will see two options you need to for, for example if you say the word up then you will put check mark on this picture but if you say the word um then you will put check mark here if he says the word masjid then you will put check mark here but if he says the word musalla you will put check mark here so you will listen to the audio and then you will put the check marks here again you better skip this question then we have the vocabulary okay this is on the only question there is only one audio question so I better tell you here so listen and then you will put the check mark so here you have two options I will say the word ab so you need to put the check mark on the picture which represent the word ab again we have two pictures so I will say masjid masjid put the check mark on the word masjid next we have again two words so I will say the word ibn Ibn. So put the check mark on the word Ibn. Now put the check mark on Nazara. 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 Now put the check mark on the word Yusalli. 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 Now put the check mark on the word Jadda. 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 So you can skip this question then we have vocabulary additional vocabulary here you will learn the counting there are rules of counting as well but you will study them in the grammar section then the book we are using which is al drusu logothil arbiya which is also known as Medina book so this is counting sitta six sub seven samania eight this are nine ashra ten now you will join them and you will upload them to Google Classroom. Ratti bil adad, arrange the numbers. So here you need to arrange them. So here they have written 6, here you write 7, here you will write 8, here you write 9, here you write 10. Then you can skip this Tadrib, Salis and Rabi. 
Atarakibunahavia grammatical structures. So in the grammar you have learned that metafun mean a court, al metafu the court, gurfatun a room, al gurfatu the room. So when we ask the question we are asking about a specific court, that's why we are using al here. Ain al metaf, where is the court? And in the answer, the word metaf is masculine, that's why we are using haza huwa. Haza huwa al metaf. Then gurfa, again we are talking about a specific room, so we need to use marifa al here. Ain al gurfa, where is the room? Haza hi al gurfa, here is the room. Now hide the example. After hiding the example, you will ask two questions. Or you ask one question where is something and then the second person will tell you here it is so here you have the picture of even so you will ask in arabic where is the sun i null ibn the second person will say haza wal ibn i null musalla where is the musalla haza wal musalla in these words most of them are shamsi so you will say ay nasura lam becomes silent in shamsi where is the picture second person will say hazihi yasura ay nashajara where is the tree hazihi yashajara in this way you will practice this then you can check your audio using this example as well now you have some more dialogues Aina Said. Where is Said? Saidun fil Urfati Yakraul Quran. Said is in the room. He is reading the Quran. Aina Said. Where is Said? Said fil Urfati Takraul Quran. Said is in the room. She is reading the Quran. So you note for male we say Yakrau. He is reading. But for female we say Takrau. She is reading. Remember this difference. For male yakrau, for female takrau. <coughs> now you will hide the example again, and according to the picture, you will ask where is Saleh? Aina Saleh. Then according to the picture, you will answer Saleh fil masjidi, huwa yusalli. Saleh is in the masjid. He is praying. Again, you will ask where is Saliha? Aina Saliha? Saliha fil Musalla to Sali. Saliha is in the Musalla she is praying. In this way, you will practice this conversation dialogue and then you can check using the examples. Then, this time you will learn how to introduce someone like walid mean father and walidi my father so the person will ask man haza who is this man he will say haza walidi adnan this is my father adnan who a mohandis he is an engineer then again you will hide the example after hiding the example you will ask who is this man haza the second person will answer by saying has a ammi umar this is my uncle umar you need to add ya here because you see here ya mean my walid father walidi my father ammi uncle ammi my uncle has a ammi umar this is my uncle umar who a mudaris he is a teacher then again you will ask man haza who is this has so second person will answer has a jaddi salim who a tabib this is my grandfather salim he is a doctor so in this way you need to practice this without looking at the example at the dribu rabe fourth exercise how will come off in misal convert like in the example so you have two words walid mean father adnan is a name of this man so the first person will say Haza Walidi Adnan This is my father Adnan Second will say Haza Waliduhu Adnan This is his father Adnan 
again you will hide the example then you will say hazi he it is she is female hazi he walidati khatija this is my mother khatija second person will apply hazi he walidatu hu khatija this is his mother khatija hazi he ukhti salma this is my sister salma Hazihi Ukhtuhu Salman. This is his sister Salma. Haza Ammi Usman. This is my uncle Usman. Haza Ammuhu Usman. This is his uncle Usman. So again, this is a spoken program exercise that you need to practice without looking at the example. Next, we have summary of the structure. Whatever sentences you have read in the this unit, they are here. So, Ayn al metaf where is the coat? Ayn al nazara where is the, where are the glasses? Ayn al said where is Saida? Ayn al Saida where is Saida? In this way, you can just practice this. This is for revision. So, note the difference. For male, we use ya with the verb. For female, we use ta with the verb. Ya mean my and who mean his. For masculine things, we say haza huwa. For feminine things, we say hazihi ya. Haza huwa mean here it is. Hazihi ya also mean here it is. So for male, we say haza. For female, we say hazihi. For male, we use huwa. For female, we use hiya. Next, we have fun. Spoke some audible. We will start this next time, inshallah. If you have any question, feel free to ask me on my WhatsApp. And remember, you need to submit some of your homework in homework number four, and some of the homework in homework number five. And I will not upload the audio here because I have already told you the things related to the audio. Or maybe let me check one more thing. This is the audio. Okay. Okay, this is the homework for the next thing. So just upload your homework to homework number four only. No need to submit anything in homework number five submit all the homework related to this class in homework number four i will check it and then i will need it ignore whatever written here whatever you have studied you can upload your homework in homework number four no need to submit anything in homework number five so inshallah we'll continue next time from here feel free to ask your questions on this whatsapp number you can also ask in comments in Facebook and YouTube. So, inshallah, next time we'll continue. Ma salama.